was everybody crypto muscle pumping iron and pumping crypto coming to you with another youtube video and check it look at this drip network i know i know i know i'm not in it okay so i know that's the first thing you're gonna ask me is oh you're in it now no 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 i'm not in it and i'll tell you why because um well, there's various factors why I, I did not join it. First off, it was because of bankroll. So, so, you know, what was coming from bankroll flow, right? It came down to a trickle into drip, right? So, once it was flowing back then, flow crashed. And now, they kind of turned the faucet down a little bit and let it drip. And, I don't know, I just never had a good history of bankroll, you know, and, and I only messed around with the original, original, going way back, you know, four years ago to the original ROI contract, and after that I was done with it, I just, I, know, I just didn't care for it, never done anything since, and I've watched the flows, right, and now the drips, and, yeah, you know what, I'll give it to, I'll give it to everybody that's been in drip, you know, um, we made there's a ton of money being made right now, right? This thing peaked at 200 bucks, and it's falling down to 125. And so, I'm looking at this as a, a doomsday scenario, all right? This is a what if video, what if for Drip Network, all right? Because you know, bankroll has a history of of a lot of failed DApps. So, this is a doomsday scenario. What if? All right, coming from the biggest dick in crypto, just ask. All right, just ask. Let me see here. Where are they at? Where are they at? Let's go. Let's ask. You know, being that I'm the biggest dick in crypto, I mean, I just ask Crypto Flower. She could tell you how big I am. And we ask Miss Crypto Chick as well. Those are the two biggest advocates that could tell you how big of a dick I am in crypto. And I got to say, ladies, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, let's get back to the task at hand. What if drip fails? What if drip finally just doesn't drip anymore? All right, and I was trying to look at how can that happen? All right, and so it led me, and throughout my research and Looking around in the crypto space, right? I roam around the crypto land, YouTube land, and more. Right? I roam around, and I'm looking at it, right? Besides the the the, you know, history of failed DApps from bankroll, all right. We I got to dive in a, a little bit further because you know, Drip Network's been sustaining for a little while now. I get it. It's cool. I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm looking at guys like the Jamies of Best Passive Income. Um, you know, is is destroying it out there right now, right? slaying the field. Oh my gosh, holy shit, right? But that's the thing, though. How much more can this thing sustain? Because the amount of money that, well, it's on the dashboard right now, unless he starts to take it all out, all right? And until that is, it's still in the contract, it's still on the dashboard. But if there's several of these Jamies out there, that has a, a shitload of drip and it shows a big ass balance of USDT that could be coming out of it. Well, it's still in the dashboard, still in the contract until otherwise. But what if the drip network fails? All right. Because after all, it is an ROI contract that's dripping. And all ROI contracts, just like platforms, right? They all fail. Something's going to happen to the point where it's going to fail. All right. And when you look at it, it's going to fail because the ballooned amount of balances from quite a few people that are in drip and that has a ton of drip. All right. I'm telling you, it's it's going to get to a point beyond equilibrium that it's going to go down and fail because it's going to get to the point 
where people are going to say, you know what, I got to take my money out of here. I made my money. I got to get out. And there's only there's only going to be so much liquidity in this thing to the point that if people start seeing something and start pulling their money, I'm just saying it's going to trigger everybody else to pull their money. And then what's going to happen? Well, then everybody's going to take that money out. And what's going to happen? It's going to kill the contract. So right now it peaked at 200, right? A lot of people took their money, you know, and now it's gone down a little bit to 125. It's still a lot of money. You know, uh, it's a lot of money for the likes of Dewan because he's never made any money. He's garbage. But what if the drip network fails? Just saying. You know, and in my circles of research and all this stuff, right, it led me to this, all right? Uh, one of Jamie's videos, because he has a ton of drip. And I noticed some comments were removed, all right? So, but this is a very good question. Drip-focused YouTubers have enormous bags. If these large holders generate even larger daily returns, amounting to millions of dollars being paid out daily, could we be quickly be facing a liquidity liquidation issue? Yes, yes. I love Drip and its goal, but I'm growing more concerned of how it's going to maintain liquidity as these large payouts continue over time. Will Drip and Animal Farm be able to sustain this? And that's the thing. It's going to get to the point where it won't anymore. Yes, the transactions of, you know, when they tax the 3%, however else, right, that they do on drip helps. It just helps sustain this thing a little bit longer, all right, which is fine. But it's still going to get to the point where exactly the question that was being asked right here. There's going to be a lot, there's a lot of enormous bags right now. And hundreds of thousands of dollars. Alright. Now, the question is, how long can that sustain for? Because it's going to get to the point where it won't be able to sustain that anymore. Alright, especially with some of these YouTubers, they do the same bullshit, right? With multiple wallets, just like they did with Flow. And if you don't get that money out, well, shit, you're going to be stuck with a whole lot of shit coins in the end. All right. That's what happened with Flo. And Flo is no longer in the picture. It's just a failed token in the end. And it's all because of guys that do wallet stacking. Same old bullshit. All this stuff again. The wallet stackers. And again... Hey, kudos, man. I mean, you guys have made a lot of money right now. That's fine. It's all good. But it's going to come to the point where if you hold it in too long, you're going to lose that money. So that is my what if doomsday scenario. What if the drip network fails? So just saying. Think about it. All right. Because it might sound good. It might look good now. But there's going to be an event that's going to trigger, and it's going to trigger a panic. And that panic, people are going to be pulling. And when people pull, that price is going to go down and down and down. So, I mean, crypto is up right now, but drip hasn't gone back up since it's peaked around the $200 mark. So, you know, I mean, when you look at it, 10% tax on sales. So I, I misquoted her when I said 3% because I was looking at the 3% here. But I meant the 10% tax. So, I mean, it's, it's good. It helps sustain it for a little while, right? It helps. It helps. But it only can help so much. And it's exactly what that comment says. You know, with so many focused YouTubers on this thing that these balloon amounts... It's going to be only for so long before all this is going to sink the drip ship, right? And now, what bothered me was a comment that was removed in this video as well, all right? And the thing about it was, it was questioning 
Jamie about another token that uh, was said that Jamie talked about. And um, and in, in essence, talking about the good things about it, right? You know, all these YouTubers talk about all the good things about stuff, right? But then the thing is, though, what they don't do is they don't talk about when the de when the devs exit scam, when the devs do this. They don't talk about the stuff that goes bad. And that's exactly what was said in the comment that was removed about how, oh, man, they're talking about good things about this one particular project and dev and, and the tokens. And then when that, when that one particular dev exited, there was noted in the comment that, oh, uh, you know, you, you didn't say nothing about that. And the, and the two videos that were talking about that particular token or so was removed as well. That was noted in the comment here. I was like, wow, that sucks, you know. And that's what sucks about a lot of these YouTubers is that say what you want to say about me, but I don't take shit down. Sorry, but that's, I just don't do that. I, I, I front everything and I face everything straight up. And I've been doing that since day one when I've been on YouTube. Every one of my videos have been up and stayed up ever since. You know, 2,400 plus videos that I've done across two channels over the last two years, two and a half years now. I've left them all up. And that's the thing that I always do. All right. I talk about the good and bad things in crypto. I talk about the good and bad things in projects and platforms and everything else. That's the one thing missing from a lot of these other guys is that when shit goes and hits the fan, man, they just like delete it delete themselves they do all this other bullshit stuff right so that's Tiwi oh not, never mind he's not here right he's not around no more that's this way oh shit he's not around no more either shit where are all these people at I mean that's what happened they they don't ever front it they like to disappear when when things go bad why you know just fucking throw it out there talk about it Straight up. Why you got to be hiding? and Why you got to be deleting stuff? That's the problem I have. So the, the question is now, what if Drip Network fails? But what if that time comes real soon? You just never know. It could come at any time. Why is the market up but not Drip? Could it be? Possibly? People are thinking about it that, all right, I better start taking my money out right now. Think about it, people. There's a lot of big holders of drip. And yes, the 10% tax helps, but it only can help for so long. Just saying, I'm just throwing out this scenario. Just a what if scenario. That's all it is. That's part of my series I'll start doing too. The what ifs, you know, in crypto, the what ifs. And the stories I got to tell, I mean, I'm, I'm full of content. That's the thing about it. I'm so full, chock full of content. Always got a lot to talk about. I could be the biggest dick in crypto, but it's all good. All right, it's all good. That's why the crypto flower and the crypto chick, they can advocate for that. They advocate for the big dick in crypto. That's what I'm talking about. So think about it, people. Before this thing goes down, start pulling that money. Because it's happened before, especially with bankroll back in this thing. It's going to happen again. All right. So right now it's dripping. That's fine because it wasn't, it's not flowing. That's for sure. All right. And it's going to, it's going to come. I mean, I've watched this thing just start just slowly sinking down. Just saying. So, think about it, alright? That's all I'm just saying. Comment down below, links down below for everything I'm in. More to come. I'm so insane. That's all I got to say. More to come. I'll see you in the next one.